what's going on guys first of all if this last look like it's about to fly off it probably is <laughs> in this video i'm going to talk about massaging your scalp and how that has been helping your girl a lot if you're new hi if you're returning you guys remember that i told you guys i don't oil my scalp i usually don't touch my scalp because back in the day when i oiled my scalp my scalp used to itch me like crazy so i never did it i added massaging my scalp into my routine and i added massaging my scalp with an oil as well into my routine and let me tell you guys about the benefits that i have been getting from massaging and oiling my scalp i want to make sure i come to you guys and tell you guys everything i'm doing because since i cut my hair i've changed a lot of things so i want to make sure i come to you guys so you guys can know exactly what i've been doing in my regimen the best time for me is before i go to bed if I'm editing, if I'm reading or taking a break from studying or something like that, or before I go to work out, or after I work out. So here's my logic of massaging my scalp after I work out. So you know when you work out, you increase a lot of circulation of your blood around your body. That's why I'm gonna get to that point just now. I find when I massage my scalp or after that, I'm going to increase my circulation even more. So that's one of the best times that I find that helps me with increasing hair growth in certain areas. So that brings me to the point where you guys remembered I told you I had problems growing out the front of my hair and the crown of my hair. So you guys see how full, I mean, if you see flakes guys, full of crown of my hair is now especially the front of my hair i've been having troubles growing out the front of my hair and the crown of my hair and now since i've added massaging into my regimen i can attest to that being the reason that it's growing my hair is growing in here and around the front of my hair because you guys know well knew the struggle that i was having so that's one of the reasons why this whole area has been growing back so thick and luscious and ba -da -ba -ba -ba. <sighs> i'm loving it you guys can try adding massaging into your regimen read up on a, read up about it especially if you're having problems growing growing your hair in your crown i did some research on it and i watched a video on it and she basically said that our hair naturally produces sebum but sometimes because of gravity the sebum falls down this way so it usually goes behind our ears and the back of our head the nape instead of into these areas right here to increase circulation there and to make sure we're getting circulation in that area and increasing the sebum if the sebum is not getting too far flow down your hair strand that's causing a lot of dryness in that area and causing the area to break a lot so that's how you would want to implement massage on your scalp with more oil especially in that area and to basically increase the circulation so you can increase the sebum you guys are gonna get where i'm going with this i usually would just put some oil in here and massage with the pods of my fingers and go in like i'd be having fun in there a good time to massage your scalp as well is when you're shampooing and conditioning your hair that's a good time as well if you want to sneak in um a massage session the girl has been massaging the life out of her scalp with them oils blue i know some of you're gonna ask me what oils so i'm trying out this oil it's a very popular oil but i want to keep trying it out first before i bring it to you guys on the channel i told one of you guys this in the comments i tried making my own mix with castor oil peppermint coconut lavender oh also i'm trying to do hot oil scalp massages before i shampoo my hair i find when i did that my hair also 
stayed moisturized longer. That's something else that I added into my regimen. Massaging my scalp gave me some good benefits. I've been getting thicker hair. My hair has been growing in areas that it has never, it hasn't been growing in for a long time. So the front of my hair doesn't really grow and break anymore. Neither does the crown of my hair. So that's a good thing. It wouldn't hurt you to just Give her scalp some love by me. Be giving people who don't deserve your love anyway. So, um, backtrack. <laughs> it does work, honestly. And ever since my cut, I've just been massaging the life out of my scalp, as I said. And I feel that added to the growth because a lot of us, our hair isn't really growing because we are not getting circulation in or scalp and we're not moving as much. If you move a lot, you're probably getting a lot of circulation and you're through your body but if you're not then if you're not very active then you're not getting as much circulation as you can so that's why they recommend exercising if you want to grow your hair and increase circulation in your scalp so to increase the blood flow all over your body and in your scalp if, if you guys don't want to exercise I mean just massage your scalp <laughs> just try it and let me know if that works out for you it's not gonna work overnight because as I said I've been doing this ever since I cut my hair massage your scalp okay get that blood flowing in that area get that circulation going in that area just get it get it get it I'm gonna try to keep you guys updated on everything that I'm doing with my hair almost everything I'm gonna keep you guys updated on the progress because we got goals I'm gonna talk about my hair goals in another video but I just wanted to touch on that to let you guys know what your girl has been doing as well for my hair growth for my thickness yeah girls hair is flourishing so yeah, thank you guys for watching and bye